What is up guys, Austin Nurcho here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok server. And today, we're doing a little bit of fun stuff, but first off, I just want to show you this. So it's just a fun little door thing, so I finally figured out how to get the no foundations required turned off. And this was a um, thing I saw on YouTube a while ago about building stuff without foundations. And it's just a little door, it looks like my frames are going crazy. I'm having a lot of frame issues going on with recordings and in my actual game, like everything just looks horrible I hope it um, looks okay or works out okay um, but it's a little door so without the foundations you can put a railing down put a ceiling off the railing and then uh, delete the railing and so it leaves the ceiling just floating there without the foundations and then you can take the doors and put on underneath it so that's just a double door and it's just stuck down into the ground so that's really cool um, and I've that's what I've been wanting to do for stuff like this just I want to put them all around now but over here, and oh, as I say, hopefully my frames will get better, but it seems like they're not. Um, today, though, I want to come over here and work on, start building some dino pins is what I, my goal is. And so over here, I've already got some of the foundations put down, and I've got a behemoth gate already put up there, as you can see. And over here, I want to put, why, is that, why do I have a weird glare all of a sudden, like, coming off my game? I've been trying to adjust the settings just to try and get it to look better, but I'm still having some issues, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, but let's go ahead and put up this other behemoth gate over here. Um, let's, see, let's see if I can get it even placed where I want it to. I need it to be over a little. When I was testing this out, I was able to find where I wanted it. Now I've got to try and find it again. Was that it, maybe? As long as it's not okay, yeah, as long as I say as long as it's not right on the railing there or the dividing line, which will be the dividing. So over here I'm gonna have the Bronto, so I'm gonna have of course the Bronto with the Brachiosaurus costume that we saw last or we got in the last episode. And I'll get another one to put in there as well, male and female. Then over here will be the um, Rexes and probably anything else that needs big space as well to fit in there. So then we're going to my glare let's see if I can do this real quick well that fixed a little I just did the light shafts and bloom quality and it seemed to help a little with the lighting but let's go ahead and I believe in here I have of course I have like what is so heavy on me that I have hardly oh I do have all these fence foundations that may be why I'm so way down um, so we've got the metal railings then oh I do have the doors too that I can put down Oh wow, compared to the Behemoth Gate, these things look so tiny. Because I'm definitely going to need a lot of these <laughs> to build up in between, or in between these two. I mean, I'm not going to build them all the way up, but you know, like, five levels, maybe? I don't know, whatever seems like a decent distance up between the two, like, you know, that seems like a decent height and everything. Let's run over here go ahead and place some here and I'll probably switch out these stone railings too at some point I was gonna use uh, metal foundations but the cost just wasn't um, worth it as much so that's what one of course it's gonna be weird since it's lower down here we'll start this one two three four and five so I may do let's do that high that may be a little bit better um like i said it'll just have to pin once i get all of the stuff in here and how it looks and everything so let's go ahead and get the doors which is of course are my really let's go ahead and just split um off two of them since that's all i need we'll place those down here but yeah i have a kind of bunch of different stuff i've been wanting to do to my base let's go and get the doors placed come on place in there so yeah, we do have a little bit of gap, but like I said, this is just to keep stuff all organized and divided. I didn't even want to do behemoth gates, but I want a door of some sort. So to get like a door, you have to put behemoth gates pretty much. So I don't know what else, you know, like to do besides behemoth gates. And it'd be nice to do like, if you could do like the half door thing with behemoth gates, that'd be awesome too. But yeah, we'll just keep, you know, the Rex that's stored over in there. Um, or over that way, stored in there. 
It's just crazy to me how short these railings look. Whoops. I probably should have used the things that keep all the things the same height just so it looked nice. I may end up, of course, then that would just waste all of the stone foundations I did. Um, I don't know. Because I'm trying to decide if I do want to go ahead and do the same height foundations as well to keep them straight. I don't know if that works, then I may try it out. But I'm just going to work on getting as much stuff put over here. Of course, I'll have to craft up a lot of stuff to get it put in here. And of course, I need to finish running this all the way back to the wall here over in that direction just to get like I said get it all divided and everything so that's gonna be something I'm gonna work on and then I will of course want to do this for like the whole base so like just you know find different areas what room I for or room for dinos I don't have in here I can just put in you know areas all over the base little fin uh, metal cages and stuff is what I want to do and then of course since I have the no foundation I can start doing a lot which is building a bridge all the way from over there across to all these different little platform things over to my base so I may start working on that at the end of the video but I'm gonna start finish working or not finish but work on this a little bit more and I'll bring it bring it back once I get all the stuff done that I can so I will see you then okay so I finally got it uh, complete or mostly complete so I put the um, the wall thing or the railing six high that's as high as I chose to go and as you can see I got it all completed all the way back to the wall here and so we now have two separate compartments room for another Bronto in here and then more T-Rexes and anything else that's large like I said I hate these doors I don't like them I thought about metal doors that may be something I do later on I'm not exactly sure but I did try to do the thing where you do even um, walls like use the fence supports whatever but then I could not get it like I start over here to like try it out and I could not get them to place into the ground I went online looked at all the um, you know disabling the collision and everything and I could not get that to work at all but I'm now on moon racer which is the name I finally named the Griffin so I am not gonna get confused anymore hopefully with calling him you know Gryffindor or whatever as I keep doing on accident but I named it Moon Racer which I'm surprised it took me that long to figure out that name because Moon Racer is obviously the Griffin looking thing um, it's like a lion flying line or whatever from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer which is one of my favorite things in the world I'm a huge fan of Christmas especially Rudolph and stuff so I'm super excited that I was like how did I not think of that name sooner uh, and so we got Moon Racer over here oh this is not gonna go as I thought it was um, it'll still work just not as I was expecting it to but I'm gonna try and build a bridge from here oh I thought that it was over to here over to this one I think whoa no don't no 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 you're gonna land in the water oh that was close that was gonna land in the water then that would have been a huge disaster for me then over to this which is usually the one I think I get metal from and then from here which will be the long one all the way over to there which hopefully this should work but we're gonna try up here first and see how it goes I guess I was planning on doing like a four bridge across which I still could I would just have to do it back farther here and I should have probably Try. I was going to try and bring some animals with me to use just in case I needed it, but um, I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and, because we need to get this straight, and, or straight to start off so that way we don't mess anything up. Okay. And then can we, should we come this way one more? Probably. There's that way we got our four. And now we got our ceilings. I probably should switch around here. Which I have more ceilings crafting. Um, so we should be able just to completely build out as far as we want without any issues. At least as of right now, any issues. And then we'll have, of course have to put ramps down and everything. We'll go ahead and do one more there and I think they're in my inventory. Oh, I have one ramp because that's not really going to work too well. Um, but yeah, then looks like it will go there. 
Oh. Yeah, I think this will we'll be fine. Um, even though I wish it was over that way a little more. But by the look of the angle of the rock over here, I probably should keep it the way it is. So let's go ahead and place all these down. And then I'll, of course, have to wait for everything. I have it crafting up in my um, back at base. But I will get stuff crafted up and continue the bridge at least over to that um, second one over there. Uh, probably not that one over there. Everything just got really bright all of a sudden. It's like super bright. Let's go ahead and gamma down a little bit. Let's go. Oops, that was way too much, but I'll just leave it there for now. You can still see. And so, yeah, so I'm going to be working on that. And then, of course, I'll put some ramps up here and just build across. Then I'll put railings across and all of that. So I'm going to get everything crafted up and work on this. And like I said, I'll get it, hopefully, at least a bridge done over to here. And that... Um, then I can work on that one across later. So this way when I bring dinos, which it's not that hard I just take them over there walking across the little bridge over there But this time I can now bring them down over to this little, you know, man-made bridge already Walk them across that and hopefully things will fit like brontos and everything may have to put some found, or some support there to widen it a little and then to walk them across here and then over there and everything so I will work on this and I'll bring it right back and we're back guys and so I've finished completing most of the bridge so I've got putting the railings off because it's really scary being up here and I just keep thinking I'm gonna fall off the whole time so here's of course the first bridge that you saw us do and or saw me do so yeah of course have you know it's a bridge just go straight across it with the railings it looks really nice and I'm gonna put torches which I have right here actually I guess I can go and do it since I'm up here in the corners here like that and then adjusting them all so they can light up the bridge so we can see during the night time really good there we go and there and there turning on and everything so here we've got our ramp down and now I don't know why I did that could have just walked over here then we've got our second bridge over here putting all the railings on I keep getting railings placed sideways like that it's kind of annoying so let's pick up the railing here there we go pick up all of the railing or not pick up place all the railings it's like keeps wanting to skip a ramp uh, ceiling for some reason Come on, last one placed there. And then we, of course, have our big ramp down. This one's a big ramp, and I'm surprised it's actually placed as well. I mean, it's a little crooked. Um, like, it need to be angled over a little more. But it actually, like, just made it. So I'll show you here in just a second. As I place that, and I think that's, yeah, that's it there. So right here, as you can see, it, like, just made it from, like, where before the rock, like, cut off and everything whoa going too fast there so yeah there's not much like I don't want to like sit here and show you all this building of course I am now just because there's not much else to show like it just building and of course I want to try and you know do this stuff and not just be like oh I'm doing this and try and do it on camera and then it not work out at all which is usually what happens when I try to build you know crazy not crazy not that this bridge is like crazy but it's something I've never done before so usually if it's something I've never done it usually goes horribly wrong and place the last one there and where I'll place I need to make more torches but I really like the look of it like once you put the railings on everything I think it looks really good and I had the ink low over here cleaned out some of this metal and stuff but of course here is where we're continuing on the bridge. Oh, I ran out of stuff. Oh, can I at least get two done? What am I making? Oh, I've got a bunch in there. It's like, what's going on? Place those two. Of course, messed up again, as always. 
place these two here and of course I've got uh, more ceilings crafting up over there to place but um, from what I had already I was able to get pretty far over here so I think that looks pretty cool so I think we've got our new walkway obviously I just got to finish this part of it half of it whatever you want to call it over to here and I'll just uh, check on the ceilings and everything but I think I want to do something to end off the video just something small and easy let's just check on the ceilings oh yeah we got ceilings of course we'll need more railings and stuff but we can go ahead and just use what we got here so I got 58 more I don't think that's enough that was just as many as I could make but let's go ahead and well going to tame something just something easy we'll repair our gun real quick and we'll grab a couple more another stack of darts just in case and I did get that new shotgun I got in the last episode I put it up I haven't used it yet for anything but let's come over here down here and see what we can tame that something we can pick up with our RG because usually there's all sorts of raptors and everything which of course I've done raptor I have parasaur I can't pick up the stego what else do we got anything else running around over here causing chaos trouble any raptors ooh there's a carno I can't pick up a carno though Let's see what oops I forgot I switched out my spyglass there we go what level are you Carno? a 140 I need you Carno I wish I could pick you up pretty sure I can't but let's just test it anyways nope can't do it so maybe which I doubt this will work but let's just go ahead and I didn't bring my pin stuff to be able to trap it uh, so this may go horribly wrong if I could, I could have just got a thing but let's see if we can knock out this Carno real quick for the end of the video it's a 140 so it'd be a good level Carno and I don't have a Carno yet so that would be awesome so let's see if we can get this thing knocked out so the Carno of course ran away just after a couple of the more shots after I left you so I did see this Baryonyx that was down here which to me looks really cool it's like oh I forgot about the whole taming thing of it attacking my base like it did last time but let's go ahead and just shoot it up anyways it's got a really cool color it's a 130 so it's a heck of a lot better than my other one hopefully it won't damage any of the wood I replaced it from last time so hopefully it will be a little better don't you break my wood place but yeah, it's hopefully we'll get it knocked down. I love the colors. It looks like Panthor from the th uh, He-Man. Or uh, Cringer, I guess you'd call it. Not Panthor, that's the evil one. But I'm going to get this knocked down and tamed up. And I'll bring it right back to end off the video. And there it tamed up finally. So I'm going to go ahead and name it Cringer as I said. Hopefully I spell that where I see R I N G E R. I assume that's how you spell it. Um, just because it looked, she looks so much like it. Um, so I'm gonna. I did have an ascendant baryonyx saddle, so I'm gonna stick that on there because I was gonna make a saddle, but I found out I had an ascendant one. Cause yeah, it looks so much like Cringer, the orange with the or er, green with the orange stripes. Go ahead and pick this up now. Unfortunately though, I had to go get the other baryonyx to go get fish meat because that's what the baryonyx is tame with is fish meat. And so, unfortunately, I have, uh, let's go and get you a follow and put you on passive there. And so, they're both female, which kind of stinks. Let's go and get, uh, Mastro to follow us. But it's pretty cool. And, I mean, just a fun little thing to tame here at the end of the video. There's another pop. Still collecting all these bones as many as I can. I'm up to 49 today so far so that's awesome so there's our other one that we took to get to tame and everything and there we go so that's pretty cool that we got both of those come here astro land why and so that's it for the 
video today we ended up you know adding the areas over here the dino storage for our big dinos back there the t-rex and the bronto then we started building our bridge of course got that bridge there you can see and the one over there as well and got to continue building this one to get it all the way across finally so made a lot of progress here with building stuff that i wanted to get done obviously i didn't get as many uh dino like taming areas as i wanted built over there like i want to do more but obviously it takes a lot of resources and um, i'm using the metal railings and stuff so it's going to take a while to get all that i'm figure out how i want stuff situated but so far everything fits pretty well where it goes and i don't have any overflow yet but i hope you enjoyed this video today if you did let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more arc videos and we will see you next time wave goodbye oh wrong one see ya